Hey everybody, it's Paul from We Get Issues. Usually uh, on a weekly basis for the We Get Issues website, uh, we like to do photo reviews of some of the comics that have come out. Unfortunately, uh, Chad Prento, uh, one of our uh, co-creators and contributors uh, to the site, is... Uh currently missing. Uh, while uh, the authorities are looking for him, I thought it'd be kind of cool if I did a, uh, a video review, try to mix things up a little bit. So, um, okay, first thing I was uh, really excited and curious about that was coming out this week uh, was The Ultimates. Uh, as we all know, um, this was a Marvel comic that came out around 2000, uh, you know, by, by Brian Hitch and uh, Mark Millar. Uh, and the first series was great, and the second follow-up I thought was really fantastic. However, Jeff Loeb entered the scene and just took a giant shit all over it, and I think the Ultimate Comics had never been the same. Um, the Ultimatum was a piece of junk and killing off everybody, and I nearly dropped the series, and I loved reading the Ultimates for so long. Um, I almost dropped reading Brian, uh, Brian Michael Bendis' Ultimate Spider-Man, and actually I think killing off Peter Parker probably was one of the best moves they've made in a long time. Don't kill me, it's just, just, just my thought. Um, but in the meantime, though, like I said, uh, Ultimates. I get my shit together. New issue just uh, came out. First of all, Marvel, what's up with the plastic bags? I mean, you're not surprising anybody. We all know what the cover was because you know, they released all these preview it these preview images. And remember when uh, Fantastic Four came out and Johnny Storm died? Like, why did you... Why package something if you're then going to have a, a press release saying Johnny Storm died? I mean... Really, Marvel. Anyway, so I had a few minutes of wrestling with this thing, trying to get the fucking comic out of my bag. Um, let's see, this is the kind of bullshit I'm talking about. Okay, so here it is. Ultimates. Really dug it. Um, Hickman, uh, he uh, came on board the Marvel Universe uh, right around the time of Secret Invasion, uh, and he uh, brought together um, Secret Warriors, uh, which is led by Nick Fury, and really an incredible series. And I think by now Hickman's really proven his worst, and when I heard that he was writing for The Ultimates, I figured, alright, I'll give it a shot. Uh, as it turns out, this is a really great read, uh, very well written, uh, the art, um, it's just phenomenal, uh, and I think this breathes some new life into the, um, you know, into, uh, The Ultimate storyline, which, you know, I think really needs it, because, uh, you know, after Jeff Loeb, you know, kind of rape the series, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see that it's kind of getting back on its feet. Um, and another thing that kind of is a little strange, though, on the bag, it has Captain America Shield. Uh, Cap is nowhere to be found, so, um, just that heads up. Um, I don't know why Marvel likes to mislead people, but if you're looking for a Captain America fix, definitely check out Captain America and Bucky. It came out, uh, this week as well. Um, also another great read, um, Brew Baker is on top of his game when it comes to Captain America, and this is a really cool um, storyline that examines the early years of Bucky and his time with Captain America. Um, it's the second issue of this series, and so far it's proven to be a lot of fun. Um, so, Ultimates and Captain America and Bucky. So, also, uh, it is William White's birthday, uh, another uh, WGI, we, 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 we Got Issues contributor, uh, so I want to wish Will a happy uh, birthday, and Chad Parento, wherever you are, just be safe.